How's it going everyone? Tyson Gaming here, and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. Obviously last episode was a traveling episode, nothing really exciting except obviously getting the Dragonite which you see on the Poketch in the bottom right corner there, and then obviously encountering an Articuno which unfortunately Goku one-shot, because he's Goku. But uh, yeah. Uh, the plan for today's episode, let me pull up the map real quick, is obviously go through all the routes here, get all the encounters I can, and then make it to Veilstone City and potentially start the gym. Because as of right now, the only Pokemon who could potentially start taking on the gym right now would be Goku. So I definitely want to focus on training up not only my other team members, but obviously most definitely my new Dragonite. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. Get the Veilstone City through, obviously, any means possible. Oh, yeah, also, before I go in too much further, since last episode, I went and did the contest hall thing, which is obviously talk to Fantina and then talk to your mom, and then I forget what the other lady's name was, the one we, who's Barry, we saved. I forget what her name was. I think it's like Carla or something. Either way, uh, that obviously just allows access to the next point of the story. And if memory serves, we now have a rival battle with Barry once I get towards the limits of town. So that's going to be good. Anyways, if you like what you see today, make sure you hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading this series every Tuesday and Thursday. So with that all the way, let's get into it. So oh yeah, obviously like last episode was definitely an encounter episode, and today was probably going to be the same, but obviously there's a lot of trainers in between here and Velstone. and speaking of a lot of trainers, hi Barry, how you doing? Alright Barry, what do you got for me? Okay, if memory serves, Barry has... Actually, I don't remember what his starter was. Okay, he has Mawile to start at least, and I'm... Oh, you know, Spyro can handle this, he has Dragon Rage. Yeah, I guess I have Dragon Rage. And in this part of the game, Dragon Rage is still incredibly broken. Because not all Pokémon are going to have over 80 HP, so it's just going to take two Dragon Rages to knock out most things. You show me something wicked? Yeah, that's cool. I have another Dragon Rage. Again, Dragonite is such a good pickup for, for obviously this run and then just any Nuzlocke in general. Because obviously once you get the late game, he becomes an absolute demon. Since he'll have not only, let's see, he'll have Outrage. I'm pretty sure in this generation he gets access to Dragon Dance naturally. If he doesn't, we'll have a hope for that we find a TM for it, but I'm pretty sure he gets it naturally. At least he should, but uh, obviously Outrage and Dragon Dance kind of self explanatory. Set up like maybe two Dragon Dances and just watch him plow through everything in front of me. And then obviously with Dragon Rage and Thunder Wave, he's also one of the best Pokemon for just catching things. And oh, cool, you got an attack boost, Prim Fluff. I am so happy for you. Yeah, you know, like, Dragon Rage probably one of, if not the best, like, general Nuzlocke Pokemon. Just because obviously he can do a lot of damage, and in most games he doesn't really have too many weaknesses. Obviously, Ice is his primary one and another Dragon type, but obviously there's no Fairy yet, so he's kind of uncontested unless it's another Dragon type, or obviously any Ice types. Obviously, since I have Goku, Ice types will not be an issue. And again, I cannot mention this. Like, yeah, that was such a good pickup. Kind of disappointed that I did not get that uh, that Articuno. Just because again, I've seen so many legendary Pokemon, and in the like obviously the last series, Ruby, I didn't get a legendary Pokemon on my team until the very end in the form of my new. So obviously seeing 
Okay, so yeah, that would have been my first actual, like, quote-unquote legendary encounter would have been that Articuno. Especially since, obviously, since I've started doing, uh, videos again. Okay, you're confused. You're minus one. Defense. Eh, just bring in Goku again. I mean, obviously Goku is a bit overleveled right now. But, he's also, like, I think like one or two levels lower than Maylene's, like, first two Pokemon. So Goku will need to be at least level 31 to be on par with her ace. Which, obviously, still have a long ways to go before we get to Veilstone City and plenty of training opportunities. Like, I don't think I'll get into the gym today. If not, obviously, we'll do it on next Tuesday's episode. And if needed, I'll do any off-camera training just so obviously we can get right into it and just go. Loudred's up next. Uh, switch back up a Spyro. Alright, let's get... Oh, th that's right, this was his starter. This was it, because he had a Wismer, that's right. Because the options were Wismer, Chanta, and then Lucario. And obviously, I took Gario. Like, it's good, it's good that I remember that now. So yeah, that means he'll have an Explode by the time you get to... What's the next rival battle with Barry? Like, 4th gym area? And I would imagine he's probably going to have an Explode by then, if not by... At least... yeah. Either way, I don't think Explode gets, like, any Fire-type moves naturally, so I shouldn't have anything to worry about. Obviously, as long as I have my Lucario. But let's see, let me think here. There's at least three more encounters between here and Veilstone, and I'm already at seven minutes, which is fantastic. Like, this is kind of like the downfalls of, like, recording, like, 30-minute videos for this stuff. Like, there's, like, so much you want to do, but obviously I don't want this series to, like, drag out. Like, I don't want it to, like, get, like, episode 30 by the time I go and take on Cynthia. And, God, that's gonna be a scary fight. Cynthia is never a fun fight. Whether it's a regular team or if, obviously, it's randomized. Which, in this game, obviously, it will be randomized. Is there an Iron Man corner there? There is, isn't there? I want it. No! Okay, anyways, let's see what we've got. Ooh, we've got a Flareon. we got a Fire-type. Which I definitely need. Also, what well, wait. I have an Eevee. I can call Species Claws. Um... That's a, that's a tough call. Because obviously, if I find a Firestone, I can get a Flareon. And not to mention, I can see what else I can get here. This Flareon is definitely a decent Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna come back to you, Flareon. I wanna go see what that item is first and see if it's Master Ball. Is there not an item up here? There it is. Rock. Nice. Fortunately, I don't have any Rock-type Pokémon. Ooh! Hi, Chimchar! Oh, thank god I called Species Claws. Like, obviously Flareon would've been nice, but obviously not as nice as an Infernape. Turned out nuts. Technically, kind of. Ooh, okay, so he. Okay, duly noted. Chimchar's at this level. It's barely have over 40 HP. Duly, duly noted. So now I definitely need to uh, uh, Thunder Wave him and not click on any attacking moves ever again. Alright, come on, Chimchar. And it's always good. To feed that, to know that you have like the, the species claws and whatnot. Because again, like Flareon would have been a very good Pokemon. But I would have been very sad if I didn't get my Chimchar. 
especially again since he's about to evolve into Montemurio and then eventually will become an Infernape. One, two, three, click. Okay, first ball too, but then again he's in red and paralyzed, so there's not much he can do. That's amazing. Um, what am I gonna call Chimchar? Because I don't feel like it'd be right to call him Natsu, because obviously I prefer, prefer, not prefer, save that name for obviously a Combuskin or a Blaziken. So... Um... I think I'm gonna call him Rose. I'm gonna call him Rose. So, if you guys don't know, I've actually, like when Brilliant Diamond came out, I spent a month and a half trying to shiny hunt for a... Why is there so much power here? Like, I would love to have this Mammal Swine too. Like, there's just, okay, so, okay. So it would have been either Mammal Swine or Chimchar as my encounter. Dang, we're half, almost, almost half of the episode, we're not even close. It's a lazy on town yet, I just barely made it out of our home. In which case, I think I'll go for a little bit longer today. I'll probably go for like 40 minutes instead of the regular 30. Or something like that. So let's quickly... Eevee, you are an amazing Pokemon. I'll probably come back to you later. But for right now, hello, Rose. Uh, let's go to here and see what your ability is, Chinjar. Gluttony, that's not bad. And are you a neutral? Oh, they don't really, that's right, they don't tell you like what the, all the natures do in this generation yet. Oh well, let's just hope it's a decent Chimchar, but I mean, he should be decent, because obviously he's right on the cusp of evolving into Monferno, and then he'll get a brand new ability. Actually, Chimchar, let's get you up front so we can get you to evolve right away. And cool, you do already have Ember. Are you a special attacker, though? Eh, you're kind of split, so I think you're probably up in speed and down in one of your defenses. Which obviously kinda sucks. But, you know, we will work with what we got. Look away, thank you, sir. And I shall go over here. I don't want this double battle. The battle scare me. It's fine. It's fine. Chim Charge will be up front with Goku, so it will be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, Magic Card and Starmie, so definitely need to get Goku, uh, not Goku, Rose out of here. And uh, switch in Spyro. Then for Goku, he can take out the Magic Card while we wait for Spyro. Like, my team is definitely coming together, like, I have some good power. Like, obviously, I have a future Infernape, I have a Dragonite now, and obviously, Lucario. Then, I have a future Walrein as well, and then an Absol. While he's not the best, but he's definitely a decent Pokemon, and thank god I swapped out. I don't know if that would have killed, but I would not have liked to have found out. So, just quick attack, Dragon Raid, and then call it a day. Okay, so, so yeah, so that's right, Starmie is quite fast. And unfortunately, I think my Dragonite's probably down to speed. Which obviously kinda sucks for him, but at the same time, unless it's a nice type Pokemon facing, it's not gonna be the biggest deal in the world. Because he'll easily be able to tank at least one or two hits before he goes down. 27 for Goku, that's perfect. Perfect. All right, and luckily that double battle isn't too too wasn't too too scary, but but we got through it. All right, 
And we just need to head over to our next Alicia town. So we're like we're halfway to Veilstone now. Uh, do I want to heal right now? Um, not yet. I want to get my encounter first. Encounter, encounter. Ooh, I got a Honchcrow. Hello. I will take this. Hello, Honchcrow. Uh, another Pokemon that I never, ever get to use. Uh, so obviously, frame one. Okay, that's fine. Now, as I gotta think here, because obviously I have Dragonite already, who's weak to Ice types and Rock types. So the question is, do I want to bring in Honchcrow over over um, Absol? And I'm thinking I might do that. Like Absol is a very decent Pokemon. But unfortunately, right now, he's not doing that much for me. He's really not doing much. Clipper, hopefully, shouldn't kill. Kinda cool. And there we go, Honchcrow. Honchcrow, I'm gonna name him Boss. Because obviously, he's supposed to look like a mob boss. Oh, no. Alright, cool. All in all, pretty good encounter. Obviously not the best, but I can definitely work with it. Alright, Legend, unfortunately, your time with us has come. Uh, thank you for all you've done so far, unless Honchkrow has a very, very bad ability. He has Torrent, which is kind of bad, but obviously not the biggest deal in the world. And you already have Wing Attack, so yeah, when you're, yeah you're coming with me. So thank you for all you've done, but obviously Honchkrow is the better pick right now. He just hits a lot harder than you can right now, and is much bulkier. So, yay me. Oh right, I need a bike. And then there's a T, yeah, she gives us a TM, unless is it, is it still Roost? TM51. No, it should still be randomized, because obviously the gym leader's teams are randomized. Uh, what do you got? 51, Gyro Ball. Not bad at all. Obviously not very usable by me right now, and... Oh, this is Dull Battle. And I did not heal. That's fine, it's Dragon Eye and Lucario. So unless there's a Dialga right here, I shall be fine. And it's a Masquerade and a Shroomish, so we are fine. We're fine, fine, fine. Um, what am I gonna do here? Yeah, let's double, ta double tag the Masquerade and take her out. Take him out. Use the speed up button a bit. I forgot in this game you actually have to click on a target. Because in normal games, if you click on a, on a spot even as empty, it'll obviously change the direction of target and actual Pokemon. But in this game, they don't do that. Let's see here. I'm at about 19 minutes, so I'll go for another 5 at least. I know, obviously, I said I would go for a little bit longer today. But unfortunately, I have like, stuff to do. So let's just get as far as we can. So yeah, definitely not getting to Veilstone today. But we'll definitely, oh, definitely be close. Well, no, definitely not, because she's a breeder, and I'm pretty sure she is a full team of six. What have I done? Do you have a full team of six? No, you only have three. Okay, cool. I'm a star. Swap out for Goku. That's me and me. Why? You know what? Let's just let Goku rock. Yeah, let's just let Goku rock. Yeah, he's such a good Pokemon. Alright, route to the encounter area. 
Alright, what we get? Come on. Give me something good and that is dupes, because I already have a Torkoal. And even though you are stronger and probably actually have a fire type move now, I am sure as crap not taking you. Come on, something good and catch up. Hello, Pincer. You are a decent Pokemon, so Thunder Wave. Your Rand, which is fine. Dragon Rage. That's fine. First, I'm gonna throw a couple balls at you. You have Seismic Toss, which is no bueno for me. Ooh, you do already have Brick Break. Hmm, I might have to add you to the team. That's, that's a definitely a good contender for, for a team member. I'm looking at potentially replacing Rose the Chimchar for that. Just because obviously he's gonna about to evolve into a Monferno right now, but it'll still be a while before. Oh, hi, Garchomp. Um, you don't have any Dragon type moves, right? No, he gets Dragon Claw like the, the uh, late 20s. So yeah, he doesn't have Dragon Claw yet. He gets that like one level 27 or something. So the only Dragon type move he will potentially have. Is yeah, Dragon Rage. Which Sans, especially because of the level up, Sandstorm won't kill me now. Okay, only does three. And then Mr. Mime. Alright, boss, get in your. Okay, yeah. This again, Dragon. Dragon, uh. Dragon Rage is a scary move. For obviously even used against me. But luckily I have the boss. And I speed up button. Alright, gonna use another oh, that's real too nice but nice potion. Am I gonna regret using that? Yes. Uh item. Increased rock type moves again. And you just give me a TM, right? Yep, hey back, so yeah, you give me a TM, which is TM 66. What is TM 66? Ragged Breath. Not bad. Not great either. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a mint. Sir, may I go past you peacefully? No, I can't have value. Alright, we're at about about 23 minutes, so I'm probably going to have to call it here after this battle against a, flutter, a very overlevel Butterfree. Hello. Why are you so high level, sir? It's fine. I have Dragon Rage. I don't have Dragon Rage. Panic. It's fine. I'm now a Dark type. He's also a fun. Can you stop confusing me? Like, I know that's what your whole shtick butterfree is status moves, but can you stop that? That's, like, really annoying. That's, like, like, egregiously annoying. I have to come back and get that item there, because I'm gonna need that later. I'm gonna ignore you, and then see what this is. Milk tank, which pincer is definitely a lot better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a cut on and come back for all of this. Actually, wait, let me teach Chimchar cut real quick. Eh, get rid of Taunt. Because this is another TM, if I remember correctly. And we're at 25 minutes, so we'll see what this TM is. And Gyro Wall again. Yay! At some point, I'm probably going to use it. But that will do it for today's episode. Obviously, not the Veilstone City just yet. Just another traveling episode. And that's mainly because this game, there's quite a bit to do in between. Obviously, Eternia City and then Veilstone. But luckily, once we get past this part, it should be uh, obviously a straight shot right to the 4th and 5th gym. A little bit of stuff to do between the 5th and 6th. And then obviously all the life stuff between 6 and 7. 
But yeah, luck, hopefully the series will start picking up again soon. I should be able to do the third gym next time. I'll probably do a little off-camera train. Obviously sticking to this route and not going any further than this point, because obviously the infamous Dennis double battles right there. Which, if you don't know, he has a Gyarados and a Drifla. Normally, obviously. But, yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Comment down below your favorite part. Um, honestly, my favorite part was probably getting boss. Just because Launchcrow is one of those Pokemon that I never use. Because I can I never find Murkrow or never a Death Stone. But, yeah. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.